Hello my friends, today we're going to talk about the observatory, at the observatory, unit 13. Read the website article. You have a website article here. Astronomy. Your questions answered. We asked you to send, you will find this text, sorry, you will find this text in your student's book. We asked you to send us your questions about the solar system for our team of astronomers here at the observatory. Here are the answers. The first question, how many planets are there in our solar system? Eunice asked how many planets there were in our solar system. Of course, you noticed here that we have uh, a reported speech here like the first question how many planets so we said Eunice asked how many planets there were in our solar system so the grammar would be about the reported speech there are eight they are all different size the biggest planet is a thousand times bigger than earth three of the planets are smaller than earth the second question, do all the planets have moons? Aya asked if all the planets had moons. Only two planets in the solar system don't have any moons, but one planet has 62 moons and one has 67. The Earth's moon is round, but many of the other moons are different shapes and sizes. The third question, what is a shooting star? Judy asked what a shooting star was. Shooting stars are not stars. A shooting star is a small piece of rock that is traveling through space. As it moves, it gets hotter. It usually burns and disappears before it falls onto the earth. And the fourth question, is it hot or cold on the moon? Ziad asked if it was hot or cold on the moon when the sun shines on the moon it's very hot it's around 123 degrees the side of the moon that isn't in the sun is freezing at around the minus 153 degrees now i want you to check the grammar books the grammar books is about reported questions Reported questions follow the same rules as reported statements. The tense changes to one step back into the past, as we said before. The pronouns change according to the meaning, and we put the subject before the verb. This is here the thing I want you to focus on, and we put the subject before the verb. For example, what is your name? Asked Salma. It will be. Salma asked me what my name was. What about yes no questions? For yes no questions, we use if after the verb ask. We use if. For example, are you an astronomer? The students asked the professor. So it will be the students asked the professor if she was an astronomer. The third point, we can also use question words after the verb ask and the object. For example, why are telescopes expensive? Asked Lena. Lena asked why telescopes were expensive. Another example, what are you doing? I asked Rofaida. It will be, I asked Rofaida what she was doing. And the last point here, reporting verbs include wonder, ask, want to know, want to know, etc. Okay, now I want you to report these questions here. The first one is already given. Do you like reading Taha? Ask the teacher. It will be the teacher asked Taha if he liked reading. And I told you before to pause the video and ask about the answer. Number two, Hania asked, when is the next bus leaving? The answer will be, 
Tanya asked when the next bus was leaving. Number three. Will you finish your homework before dinner? Karim asked his sister. The answer. Karim asked his sister if she would finish her homework before dinner. And number four. How long does it take you to get to school? Warda asked me. So the answer. Warda asked me how long it took me to get to school. The next slide is about the functions books. It's about asking polite questions. How to ask a polite question. You have four examples here. The first one, could you please explain to me why? For example, in brackets, I can't feel the earth turn. Number two, I wonder if you could tell me what, for example, a star is made of. Number three, I'd like to know if you like your job. And number four, do you think we could come and see the observatory one day? So to ask a polite question you can use, could you please explain to me? I wonder if you could tell me. I'd like to know. And do you think we could? Okay. Now let's check your student's book. The first exercise in the review page to choose the correct words. The first one. Moons go around planets or stars. It's already given planets. Moons go around planets. Number two. The sun is a star in our solar system or sun system. Of course, it's solar system, yes. Number three. A flying or a shooting star is a piece of rock that moves quickly through space. The answer. A shooting star, yes. And the last one, number four, on some planets, it is more than 400 degrees or 400 hot. Of course, 400 degrees. The next slide, write these questions in reported speech. You have five questions here, or yes, five or four. The first one is already given. What is your geography project about? My mother asked me. So the answer, my mother asked me what my geography project was about. What about the second one? Where are you going on holiday in the summer? I asked Yusuf. The answer, I asked Yusuf, I asked Yusuf where he was going on holiday in the summer. You can write down these questions to check the answers in the next slide. Number three, for example, what book do you want to read? Our teacher asked us. So the answer will be our teacher. Our teacher asked us what book we wanted to read. What book we wanted to read. Number four, can you play the guitar? Nabila asked Hannah, can you play the guitar? So the answer, Nabila asked Hannah if she could play the guitar. Nabila asked Hannah if she could play the guitar. And the last sentence or the last question here, do you know the answer to the question? I asked Sausan. So the answer will be, I asked Sauson if she knew the answer to the question. Now let's check your workbook. The first exercise in your workbook is to complete the sentences. You have here some words like astronomer, astronomy, degrees, bees, planets, solar system, shooting star. The first sentence here, 
Earth is one of eight planets in our space. Of course, the answer will be in our solar system. Number two, space is the study of the stars. What is the study of the stars? Yes, astronomy. Number three, Hassan is very interested in space and wants to be an and he wants to be an astronomer. Number four, at night in the desert, you can sometimes see space, but they disappear very quickly. So, the answer is shooting stars. At night in the desert, you can sometimes see shooting stars, but they disappear very quickly. Number five, the science museum has a space of rock from the moon. Of course, a piece of rock from the moon. And the last one, number six in Cairo, it is usually about 14 degrees in January. The next exercise, read and correct the mistakes in these sentences. For example, the first one, Imad asked me, what was my name? The correct answer, Imad asked me what my name was, not what was my name. Like this one here. It's not, a, it's not correct here, what was my name. The correct one, it will be what my name was. So, number two. Noel asked me that I liked looking at the star at night. Yes, the correct answer. Noel asked me if I liked, not that I liked, if I liked looking at the stars at night. Number three. We asked the scientist where his telescope is. Where is the mistake? And what is the correct answer? Yes, we asked the scientist where his where his telescope was not is number four the munir asked the teacher if they are studying astronomy the answer munir asked the teacher if they were studying astronomy and number five i asked nader which book is his the correct answer I asked Nader which book was his. The next exercise, choose the correct answer from A, B, C, or D. The first one, what is the biggest object in our solar system? It's already given. The answer is the sun, letter B. Number two, what does the Earth do every day? The answer, it space around the sun. Of course, it turns around the sun. Number three, what are the stars made of? Metal, plastic, rocks, gas. Yes, gas. The stars are made of gas. And number four, there are eight of these moving around the sun. What are they? They are planets, of course not moons, you have moons, planets, shooting stars, meteorites, meteorites, and the correct answer is planets. Now match the words and their meaning. The first one here, anything, it's letter C, anything means any possible thing or event. Number two, the word explain. What does it mean? Explain Yes, it will be letter A. Make something easy to understand. Explain. Observatory. Letter E. A building from which scientists watch space. Polite. Letter B. Speaking and behaving in a nice way. And the last one, wonder. Wonder means want to know why
rewrite these questions so that they are more polite. Try to remember the functions books. The first one, for example, can you answer my question? If you want to it, uh, or if you want to make this question more polite, you can say, "Could you answer my questions, please?" What about the second one? Why is the sky blue? It's a correct answer. It's a correct, sorry, a question. But if you want uh, to make it more polite, you can say, for example, "Could you please explain to me why the sky is blue?" Could you please explain to me why the sky is blue? Number three, what are clouds made of? You can say, I wonder if you could tell me what clouds are made of. Number four, how cold does it get in the desert? Yes, you can say in a polite way, you can say, I'd like to know how cold it gets in the desert. And number five, will we grow vegetables in more of the desert one day? The answer will be, do you think that we will grow vegetables in more of the desert one day? So you have here uh, four or five questions. We made it in a polite way, like, could you answer my question, please? Could you please explain? I wonder if you could tell me. I'd like to know. And do you think that we will grow vegetables, for example, in more of the dessert one day? Thank you very much with my best wishes.